This is going to be a video tutorial on how to create a responsive four column layout for your website using HTML and CSS. I'll be using VS Code in the Google Chrome web browser. Let me jump over to my website and show you what I'm talking about. This right here is what I will be creating, a four column layout. I just I have the uh, background colored and borders set up just so you could see what's going on. It is responsive. If I downsize the columns stack on top of each other, that would be for like a cell phone, and I've got it set basically below a tablet size. It goes to uh, over under. And if I expand to a full desktop screen, the columns are side by side. Let me jump over to my desktop here and get set up. Okay, I'm going to create a folder here on my desktop. I'm going to right click, go down to New, over to Folder, and I'm just going to call this Folder Test. And then inside of that folder, I'm going to double click on that folder to open it. And inside of that folder, I'm going to create another folder. I'm going to right click, go down to New over to folder and I'm just going to call it CSS all lowercase I'm going to hit enter now I'm going to jump over to VS Code here and I'm going to locate that folder that I named test I'm going to go up to file down to open folder and then I'm going to find the folder here I named it test it's right there I'm going to click select folder now I'm working from inside of that folder now I'm going to create my HTML file and my CSS file. I'll create my HTML first. I'm going to go up to File, New File. Now I'm going to go back up to File and Save As. And I'm going to name it index.html. I'm going to click on Save. And then to create my boilerplate, I'm going to make an exclamation point and then you can either click on the top wrench or hit the tab key either way there's my HTML boilerplate now I'm gonna create my CSS file I'm gonna go back up to file down to new file now I'm gonna go back to file and save it as a CSS file file down to save as and I'm gonna call it style.css And before I click Save, I'm going to double click on my CSS folder because I want to place it inside of that folder. Now I'm inside of the CSS folder. I'm going to click on Save. And now if I bring back up my folder, you can see I have my HTML file there. And if I double click on the CSS folder, there's my CSS file. I'm going to go back to VS Code here. Now I need to connect my HTML and my CSS files. I'm going to click on my HTML file here. And just above the title tags, I'm going to put my cursor down here at the end. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to type link. And then I'm going to click on the wrench that says link colon CSS. And now the only thing I need to change, this is the name of my CSS file, style.css but I have my CSS file in a folder named CSS. I'm going to put my cursor in front of the S on style and I'm going to type the name of my folder CSS forward slash and now if I hover my cursor over the, the style.css and click on that follow link it should take me to my CSS file. I'm going to click on follow link. Yes it is connected. I'm going to go back to my index.html file. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is go up to File and down to Save All. Because I want to make sure both my HTML and CSS files are saved. Save All. And now I'm going to close my little sidebar here. You can leave yours open. I'm just going to close mine so I have a little more room here. I'm going to click on the Explorer icon to close it. That it opens and closes by clicking on this Explorer icon. But anyways, I'm going to start off on my HTML file. I'm going to put my cursor between my opening and closing body tags here. And I'm going to create a div. 
I'm going to hit enter to separate my opening and closing div tags. And then I'm going to create a class for this div. I'm going to put my cursor right after the V on the opening div tag. I'm going to make a space and type class equals double quotations. And I'm going to call this class all underscore rows. Now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that opening div tag. I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line and I'm going to create another div. I'm going to hit enter to separate my opening and closing div tags and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to create a class for this div. I'm going to put my cursor right after the V on the opening div tag. Space class equals double quotations and I'm going to call this class all underscore columns. Now I'm going to put my cursor after that second double quotation there. I'm going to make a space and I'm going to give this a background color. I'm going to type style equals double quotations background color background dash color. Then I'm going to do a colon and I'm going to give it a background color of light cyan. Light cyan. Now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that opening div tag here. I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line and I'm going to create an H2. And the text that I'm going to put in here is uh, column 1. Now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that closing H2 tag there. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to create a paragraph. And then I'm going to type lorem 75. Then you can either click on this wrench here or you can hit the tab key either way. I'm going to click on the wrench and there's 75 words of lorem ipsum text. Now to take a little shortcut here, I'm going to copy this all columns div. You don't want to copy the, uh, the first opening div tag, the all rows you don't want to copy, and the last div tag there you don't want to copy. I'm going to copy the all rows div tag. I'm going to hit, I'm going to right click go down to copy. I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that closing div tag. I'm going to hit enter twice and I'm going to press control V to paste it. I'm going to do this two more times. Hit enter twice, control V. And now one more time I'm going to hit enter twice, control V to paste it again. Now that gives me my four columns there. I'm going to scroll up to the very first column under, under the all rows. The very first uh, all columns is fine. I'm going to go down to the second one and I'm going to call it column 2. I'm going to change the H2 to column 2 and I'm going to change the background color to light blue. Instead of light cyan it will be light blue. Now I'm going to go down to the third all columns div and I'm going to change this to column 3 and I'm going to change the uh, I'm going to leave the I'm going to leave the uh, background color light cyan I'm going to scroll down to column the fourth column and I'm going to name it column 4 and I'm going to change the background color to light blue Now I'm going to go up to File and down to Save because I want to save that. And now I'm going to go back to my folder and I'm going to double click on this index.html file. And that's what I have so far. I haven't added any CSS yet. So now they're all just stacked on top of each other. But what we're shooting for is this right here that's done in CSS. So I'm going to go back over to VS Code 
and I'm going to go to my style.css file and I'm going to start off by making an asterisk which is under the number 8 key on your keyboard I'm going to make a space and I'm going to make some brackets and what this is going to do all of the elements in this section are going to abide by this I'm going to make it box sizing border box box sizing border box now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that last bracket I'm going to hit enter twice and I'm going to call my all columns class period all underscore columns space curly brackets I'm going to hit enter to separate my curly brackets and I want this to float left I want these columns to float to the left float colon left semicolon I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line I'm going to give it it's going to be four columns and if you want it to take up the entire page then you'll go 25 percent for each column I'm going to do width colon space 25 percent semicolon I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line and I'm going to give my text uh, 12 pixels of padding padding colon 12 px semicolon I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line and I'm going to give it a minimum height of 350 pixels minimum min dash height and I'm going to give it 350 pixels I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line and I'm going to I'm going to give it a border just so you could see what's going on a one pixel solid border border colon 1px space solid semicolon now I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line and I'm going to align my text in these columns center text align center text dash align whoops I spelt that wrong center I'm going to go down to the actually I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that last curly bracket I'm going to hit enter twice and now I'm going to call on my all columns class and what I'm going to do I want to clear the floats I don't want my elements to overlap each other I want to clear the floats so I'm going to type period all underscore rows colon after space then my curly brackets I'm going to hit enter and then I'll do content colon and then just a pair of uh, double quotations I'm going to put a semicolon at the end of that I'm going to hit enter enter to go to the next line and I want this to display table display colon table semicolon I'm going to hit enter to go to the next line and I want this to clear both clear colon space both semicolon now I'm going to hit I'm going to go up to file and go down to save all make sure you have everything saved then I'm going to go back over to my browser and see what I have now I'm going to hit refresh there's my columns there I got four columns that's exactly what I wanted but I don't have my responsiveness added in yet I don't have my media query which makes it responsive see if I downsize now see it's not responsive and that probably is not what you want I want the columns I'm gonna go back over to my original website this is what I want here and that's very easily done I'm gonna go back to VS code and I'm gonna put my cursor at the end of that last curly bracket I'm gonna hit enter twice I'm going to scroll up a little so you can see and I'm going to type at media space screen 
space and space parentheses and in those parentheses I'm going to type max dash width colon space 768 px now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that last parenthesis I'm going to do a space I'm going to create some curly brackets here I'm going to hit enter to separate my curly brackets and then I'm going to call on my all columns class period all underscore columns I'm going to make a space and I'm going to make some more curly brackets. I'm going to hit enter to separate my curly brackets. And I'm going to give this a, this a width of 100%. Width colon 100%. Semicolon. And what this does, this says, it tells the browser any screen size that's smaller than 768 pixels the width of each of these columns will go to 100%. 768 is what they recommend for tablet size, but anything below 768 pixels, the width of the columns will go to 100%. I'm going to go up to File, down to Save. Now I'm going to jump back over to my website. I'm going to hit Refresh, and then I'm going to Downsize. And there we have it. Now the columns have stacked on top of each other. That would be uh, like cell phone size right there, but for tablet size would be about right there. The columns stack on top of each other. I'm going to go back up to a full size desk screen size. But there we have it. That is how you create a four column responsive layout using HTML and CSS. Thanks for watching and let me know if this helped you out at all.